Are you ever going back to pirating? Maybe. Someday. If I find the right captain. Perfect. I'll be your captain. Onward to Blood Island and high adventure. Wanna come? You a captain? Hardly. I'm the mighty pirate who defeated LeChuck. And what do you have to show for it? I've got a ton of cool stories. Treasure? Immense mounds of gold and diamonds? Solid gold scepters of power? Anything? Well, I've got these nickels. Wooden? Uh, yeah. Some treasure hunter you are. You couldn't find gold in a jewelry shop. I bet I could find gold on this very island. How much would you bet? Well, I've got these nickels. Right. Come back when you have some real treasure to show me. How'd you break into the hairstyling industry? I saw an ad to join a barbershop quartet. Got a problem with that? No, that must be very rewarding work. What's that supposed to mean? Mean? Just that, you know, cutting hair and um, singing must be just a lot of fun. It's like a party every day. Some days I just don't know how to contain my joy. I get giddy, and the laughter bubbles out of me like a sparkling fountain of mirth and gaiety. Okay, new topic. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Check this out. Is that real gold? I guess you can find treasure. So you'll join my crew? Sure, as long as my partners will join too. I'll need two more sailors for my crew. How did you become a barber pirate? I spent 10 years at sea on board the HMS Anathema, the fastest ship in the Scottish Navy. So how did that help you become a barber pirate? That was a clip of ship. Ah. So you started this salon? Aye, but not on the own. I grew to love hairstyling so much, I told two of my best friends about it. And then they told two friends. Aye, and they told two friends, and so on and so on. Do you know any rousing pirate stories? Well, there is the story of the secret of Bulky Island. We were a crew of two score men, under the command of Big Jake McJuggernaut, the most powerful captain on the seas. One night in port, Captain Jake heard the tale of an enormous treasure buried somewhere on Bulky Island. We set sail and landed on the island within a fortnight and found the treasure the next morning. How big a treasure are we talking about here? Immense. An inconceivable amount of gold, silver, jewels, and coupons for discounts at area restaurants. Oh, it was a beautiful sight. A tremendous chest made of solid gold. Big Jake leapt into the hole and wrapped his sinewy arms around the chest, each writhing in pain. What a depressing story. I don't want to hear any more. How would you like to join my crew? You seem like a nice enough sort, Guybrush. But a man cannot serve as my captain unless he earns me respect. And how would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. Australian rules football. No, I'm talking about the traditional Highland display of strength and virility. The caber toss. But in school, I was always picked last for caber tossing. Maybe it's because you weren't familiar enough with the sport. You see, the caber is a large tree trunk. We go to the field of competition, and each of us heaves the caber as far as he can. The man whose caber goes the farthest is the winner. That's just about the stupidest sport I've ever heard of. And I watch cable television. Aye, but you cannot argue with tradition. Sounds great. Let's do it.
Hey, I win. By the spiraling bouffant to be great Uncle McManus. Never before have I seen such strength. Sure, I'll join your crew. I'll wait at the shop until you're ready to leave. I'll need one more sailor for my crew. Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Of course you are. Okay then, who are you? Edward Van Helgen. Not the... That's right, mine is the name that pirates fear the most. Edward Snugglecakes Van Helgen. Dude! How'd you like to join my ever-growing pirate crew? Your crew? Why would I want to be on your crew? It's gonna be a blast. We're going to Blood Island. Sorry, Threeport. As much as I'd love to be out at sea again, I could never serve a captain who wasn't a gentleman and who wasn't my equal. Gentlemen, that's me all over. Then prove it. If you can defeat me in a gentleman's duel, I'll join your crew. All right, let's get to dueling. No, 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 there are rules. If you want to duel with me, you have to give me sufficient insults. Mm, okay. Nice cologne you're wearing. Did you actually roll around in dung or just dab a little behind each ear? That's not the type of insult I had in mind. I don't want to insult you. Why can't we just get along? I bet you have a ton of cool pirate stories. No, I couldn't. Oh, come on. I'd really like to hear some of... The year was 1675. We were on a course towards the wreck of the rattling phlegm. Our days were filled with songs of the voyage and the untold riches we'd find at our destination. Two months into our journey, we realized something was horribly wrong. Were you haunted by the spiteful ghost of a former captain? No, a restless spirit would have been a welcome relief compared to the evil we faced. We were all stricken with a melody, a diabolical song that I shall never forget. La 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 Hey, that's kind of catchy. Aye, all too catchy for a crew of 50 men confined to a ship hundreds of miles from port. No one could think of anything else, and many threw themselves into the sea rather than hear any more of the incessant humming. We returned with but eight of our crew left. The doomed voyage of the Obsessivo Compulsivo will haunt me forever. Whoa, look at the time. Gotta scoot. Now there's a challenge. To the field of honor. Choose your weapon. I choose the banjo. I accept. You do?
You're a pretty good boy. Let's see you follow this. He's good. I'll never beat him. shot my banjo. You can't be sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Of all the low-down tricks, I never heard of anything so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. I'd be proud to join your crew. Great. I'll just pack this stuff up and get ready. And give me back my gun. Well, I got my whole crew. Barrel of grog and a chicken. <laughs> Look at all this stuff, mate. Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose for all this loot. Wait a minute. There's something else. It's uh, it's, it's some kind of footwear. <laughs> hey, those are nice boots. <laughs> They're still hot. Ow, 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 ow. got a huge hole in the bottom. I'd sink. The plug is all pasty now. Perfect. On a dead man's huh? Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Well, we'll just see how your threats sit with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Threepwood. You've come aboard the Sea Cucumber. 
I am Mr. Fossey, and the first mate. And my captain? Why, he's the scourge of the seven seas! The dread pirate, Leche. Yes, Captain. It's on the table, sir. Lecce. That's right. Captain Lecce. Yes, Captain. Just an intruder, sir. But I'm dealing with him. He says you're to be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. Feathered sounds good. How about just feathered? No. So. Well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What do you say, men? Can we make him walk the plank? What's that, Captain? Handles. Well, it looks like we're having technical difficulties, Threepwood. So we'll have to drag out the tar and feathers after all. That'll learn ya. So what do I do now? Hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. Aren't you humiliated? I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, and just get lost then. It's El Pollo Diablo, the giant demon chicken of Puerto Pollo. You weren't content just to release all my chickens and scare all my customers away, were you? Uh, that's right. Well, you're not taking me without a fight. Ugh, this chicken grease washed off all the feathers. Whoops, I better keep quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I have my dinner. What's that, Captain? I eat too much fried chicken. Well, I... I've just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain LeChimp. You're an overachiever, a doer. Well, I'm just a tiny little fly. LeChimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Aye, aye, Captain! Fresh bananas for the whole crew! An utter loon. What's that, Captain? Your parasites are bothering you. Well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. What, with the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean! <clears throat> Mr. Fossey, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? <laughs> you sound different. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Maybe it's time we gave up pirating. I mean, take a look around at me, at the rest of the crew. We're all monkeys. You mean in the Darwinian sense, sir? No, I mean in the quite literal sense. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir, but I'll tell them that you think it best. 
okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good, and then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. That must be the map to where they buried Elaine. like something's burning. Must be this shoddy 17th century electrical wiring. Wait a second. Somebody's been monkeying around with these controls. Uh-oh, it looks like he's coming for the cannonballs now. And now, the ultimate Shakespearean delight. The famous cannonball juggling scene from Romeo and Juliet. Whoa! Whoops! <laughs> I'm glad it had a happy ending and he got the, um, got the girl in the end. Elaine should be safe up in the crow's nest, for now. Nice boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am big bone. Uh-oh, quiet. Here comes Captain LeChuck. <laughs> There, you lovers! Set sail from my stronghold on Monkey Island! I'll unleash my entire army of the undead! This time, Elaine will be mine! Ah, Elaine! 
'Twill be a sweet day in hell when you feel the fiery breath of my kiss on your lips and become my undead bride. And I'll destroy any man who dares get in my way. Suffer it, sailors. It is good to be dead. <laughs> Excuse me, my card. Well, I'm sure there must be some mistake. You're slovenly. And yet I have a membership card. Let me see that. This must have been approved the morning after the office Christmas party. Yes, and I think I'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach. No, you mustn't. I must. And perhaps I'll sunbathe nude. Sweet mother of pearl, no! Now that I think about it, it is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. Nice fluffy towel. This towel is soaking wet. Ouch! Nice fluffy towel. I'll just take one more. The towels are all wet now. With these holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that hot beach. Three-headed monkey! Oh boy, oh boy! Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hey! Just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time.
Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. Ah, that was as refreshing as morning dew. Hey, how did you drink all the lemonade? You switched mugs on me, you cheat. I hope you're happy. You put a budding young entrepreneur out of business. It's full of dye now. I've brought you a new mug. Thanks. Here's your drink, sir. Look, Palido, you're burning. Ah, all those months in the sun and my tan is just gonna peel away. I better turn over. Good idea. I really wish I didn't have to do that. Well, I've got a crew, a map, a ship, and finally got Elaine back. So let's say we head on to Blood Island to lift the curse and save Elaine. How about it, guys? Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on out and find our fortune, guys. This might be more difficult than I first imagined. Ah, the sea. I, the sea. Makes you glad to be alive. I think that ship is following us. Feel that salty spray. The sunlight sparkling off the bay. What a glorious seafaring day. It's a pirate ship. We've got to outrun her. All right, men, are you with me? Hey, look, guys, a whale. Where? Where? That ship is gaining on us. Cutthroat Bill, rig the topsail. Is that a right whale? No, no, lad. They're boarding us. Crew, help me out here. It is a member of the CETA's suborder, Mr. Shetty, though. I think you're right. Well, well. Rottingham, so it's you. What do you want? So that a good toupee. I've come for your map to the fabled blood alarm. Then I'll find the diamond you mentioned. It'll make a fun paperweight for my escritoire. Ooh, look! It's breaching! Ooh! Ah! Look, Baldy, I'll never give you that map. I need it to save Elaine. Then I'll have to take it from you by force. That whale must be 30.5 meters. 100 feet and weigh 200 metric tons. You know, of course, in a sword fight, a sharp weed is much more important than a sharp blade. Of course. Everybody knows that, Chrome Dome. Let's get this over with. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. No, 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 no. That's not right at all. What? On the sea, we fight it a little differently. On the sea, all your insults and threats have to rhyme. What? So when I say every enemy I've met, I've annihilated, you say... I once found some gold, but it was just electroplated? 
no. You say, with your breath, I'm sure they are suffocating. Let's try that again, shall we? You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Uh... I'm waiting. I... Uh, I... Just as I thought. You're an amateur with this world. Give me that map. Here. Take it. That's your map? Yeah. As soon as I'm through piloting these waters, it's off to blood alone. Until we meet again, Monsieur Tweebud. I've got to get that map back or we'll never find Blood Island. Thanks, guys. You were a world of help back there. It was a rousing battle, Captain. Aye, and it reminds me of a song. We're a band of vicious pirates. A sailing out to sea. When you hear a gentle singing. You'll be sure to turn and flee. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Come on, men. We've got to recover that map. That pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap. We're a club of tune for rovers. We can sing in every clef. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tuned deaf. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. No time for song. We got to move. The battle will be long, but our courage we will prove. We're a pack of scurvy sea dogs. Have we pity not a dram? We are a roasted garlic. Dancing from the diaphragm. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. I'm getting so sick of you guys and your rhyming. We're ready to set sail, though the cannons need a priming. Troublesome corsairs, and we've come to steal your treasures. We would shoot you on the downbeat, but we got to rest five measures. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Let's go defeat that evil pirate. We know he's sure to lose, because we know just where to fire it. We're thieving balladeers. A gang of cutthroat mugs. To fight us off, you won't need guns. Just jolly good ear plugs. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um... Well, uh... Door hinge? No, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay, back to work. Well, gee, I feel a little guilty now. Captain. Yes, Mr. McMahon. We were wondering, we were, just what kind of captain you are. What do you mean, Haggis? Well, some captains are men of action. They like to have complete responsibility and control for their ship. Other captains prefer to concentrate more on the thinking aspects of captaining. The captain who's a man of action will undoubtedly have a much more difficult time of defeating other scoundrels of the sea in the fast-paced realm of ship-to-ship -ship combat. The more academic captain will find the other pirate vessels he meets to be less aggressive and therefore far easier and quicker to defeat in combat. I see. So, Captain Threepwood, which type of captain be ye? I think I'd rather let you guys help me out. Easy ship combat it is. 